Alright, we are uploading this video really early in the day, and the reason for that is the fact that the Montreal Canadiens have themselves a game at 11 a.m. PST, and I do not want to be violating my own rules by uploading videos for teams that are in the midst of playing games whilst those videos are in their prime times. It's no secret that YouTube videos get the most traction within the first few hours of their uploads, so having the Canadians play a game at 11 a.m. PST, which is one hour removed from the normal 10 a.m. PST scheduled upload time for the first video of the day, it makes things pretty inconvenient. So today what we're doing is moving the video to earlier in the day. Canadians fans, if you are on the East Coast, you're getting a little bit of a treat because this video is a bit early. Today we are talking about a prospect who isn't even a Montreal Canadiens guy. He had the opportunity to be a Montreal Canadiens guy, and you could very well say that most of the Habs fanbase wanted him to be the Habs guy. But he wasn't. He was passed over at the fifth overall spot by Montreal, and he slipped all the way to number seven, where he was picked off by the Philadelphia Flyers. His name is Matvey Mishkov. Now, we don't really need to do a huge introduction as to who Mishkov is, but just to get the update out of the way, he's 19 years old, 5'10", 172, left-handed right-wing guy, and he's doing pretty good things in the KHL. One game and zero points with SKA St. Petersburg, but with HK Sochi, he's at 41 points in 46 games played. Literally under a point per game guy with 19 goals and 22 assists. This number of point production is astounding because just the amount of guys who have been able to keep up with this kind of pace at just 19 years old, if you go over into the past few years, it's a very rare list. In fact, if you go over to the KHL's all-time U-20 points record, Matvey Mishkov is one point behind Kirill Kaprizov, who did what he did in 2016-17, and Mishkov has two more games in hand. You can see here that he also bested out Evgeny Kuznetsov, he bested out Pavel Buchnevich, Eli Tolvin, and a few other guys that are noteworthy. Even if you go down further in the list, you've got Artemi Panarin, you've got Vladimir Tarasenko, other guys who happen to be studs at the NHL level right now, and Mishkov outproduced them all. The thing is, this video is talking about the Montreal trash talk, and the reason we're talking about this is because of a very particular thread brought up by Grant McCagg earlier yesterday on Twitter. Now, of course, if you're familiar with Montreal Canadiens discourse, McCagg primarily focuses on Montreal conversations. He's got a lot of Habs fans that follow him, and a lot of Habs fans that agree with what he says. Now, don't get me wrong, there's an equal balance, I would feel, maybe even more so in the opposite direction. There are a lot of Canadiens fans that tend to disagree with what it is that McCagg says. But once in a while, when he does go out there and say things that are positive about the Canadians, you'll see Habs fans climbing on board and saying, yeah, this guy is onto something here. I agree with this. And then he'll come out with another take like, oh, I'd rather have Dylan Strom over Connor McDavid, and then everybody's going to jump ship and abandon him once again. That's kind of a joke, by the way. Not saying he actually said that, cough, cough, cough. But this is a Twitter thread from earlier yesterday that got a lot of people upset. It is impressive that Matvey Mishkov is producing in the KHL at 19 years old, but we need to keep in perspective just how watered down the KHL is today. It is, at the very least, about AHL level in terms of competition. Here's the first line of Sochi's opponents today. And you can see that the top line features three forwards by the name of Shuai Fu, Campbell, and Fu Jiang. The defensemen, you've got Sprawl and Chelios, and then in net you have Yurusik. This is not a very good team. And in fact, if you see the replies and the favorites and everything, essentially what this tweet is doing is it's degrading what it is that Matvey Mishkov was able to accomplish so far. Yeah, he's producing at the KHL at 19, but the KHL is pretty bad, and these guys that he's playing against are kind of AHL level, maybe even worse. This idea, of course, is kind of poking the bear a little bit, because Philadelphia Flyers fans, for one, came out here and defended their guy in Mishkov, but you also had some Canadians fans jumping on board too and saying, yeah, no, I kind of agree. Here are some of the replies that go out there and dissect this idea. Seeing Jordan Wheel as fifth in the scoring race is pretty telling of the status of that league. Grant replies, players with ties to Montreal who were top 20 scorers in the KHL in the past decade included Phil Malier, Nigel Dawes, Peter Holland, Darren Dietz, Yuri Sechak, and Daniel Audette. Chris Weidman was the top-scoring defenseman in the KHL three years ago. 
And then another reply says, how many of those other guys were 19 and had pneumonia for half the year? So right away, you're seeing the Flyers fans coming out there and bouncing back. Another reply says, it's always been, though. What exactly made the KHL so much better 20 years ago when Ovi was there? Or 10 years ago when Kucherov was there? Or 5 years ago when Kaprizov was there? Seems pretty convenient for you guys. And if you're a teenager in the AHL and scoring at this clip, it's usually a pretty good indicator, right? Age is really the most important thing here. Not the league. Even some Canadians fans are bouncing back. Seeing as Mishkov turned 19 in December, he wouldn't even be in the AHL. He'd be either in the NHL or in the Canadian Junior Senior College. How do those leagues match up to the KHL? I get it. Philadelphia picked him, and he picked Philadelphia, so we're gonna crap on the kid, but darn. That bias is showing, Grant. The quote tweets have a few cool conversations as well, if you look at some of the top ones here. Show me the opposing lineups of David Reinbacher. I dare you. And this tweet got a whole bunch of reception as well, because you could very well say that the opposing argument does exist. The Swiss League opponents, the top lines and opposing teams that David Reinbacher is going up against, they may not look all too much better than the top line of the Kunlun Red Star and the KHL, like what we are seeing here. A bunch of the other replies go out there and pretty much repeat the same thing over again. Cope. Cope. This is copium. Come on, Grant. You're just trying to cope with the Canadians passing up on Mishkov. What's impressive is your relentlessness to try and make yourself believe that the Habs passing on Matvey Mishkov was a good idea. Kudos to that in that regard. So, essentially, the idea that's floating around here, that some Habs fans were defending, that some Habs fans were tearing down, that many Philadelphia fans were saying was a whole bunch of BS, is that because Matt Vimishkov is playing in the KHL, and he's producing this amount of numbers, maybe he shouldn't be taken as seriously as a prospect. And to that idea, to that trash taste that has been thrown out there, I just gotta go out there and say, man, what the hell? Like, if Matt Vimishkov was in the CHL, he would probably be dominating at a level that's been unheard of. Right now, he's in the KHL, and he's under a point per game. Anybody who is in the KHL and is under a point per game, if they played in junior, if they played in the CHL or the QMJHL, they'd be the number one point scorer in that league, bar none. Let alone Matt Vimishkov being able to do the things he's doing at the KHL level at 19 years old. Any one of these guys in their mid-20s, early 30s, in the KHL that are producing fewer points than Mishkov, they'd dominate if they were in a Canadian Junior League. So you could very well say the same thing is apparent here with Matt Vey. Furthermore, the entire idea of the Montreal Canadiens passing up on him, I get it, it stung. We made a bunch of videos throughout the draft season talking about how Mishkov to the Canadiens would be amazing because having Mishkov and Caulfield together would be a one-two pair for the ages, not to mention Slavkovsky also being there as well. There's so much offensive potential when you think about the possibility of Mishkov coming over to Montreal. But at the end of the day, the Canadians took the defenseman, and they made it seem very much so that they took him because he happened to be a right-handed defenseman, not because particularly he was the best player available on the board. Kent Hughes, man, I still believe you done goofed by making that interview sound the way you did when it was done after the 2023 NHL entry draft. But for Matvey Mishkov, seeing what he's been capable of doing in the KHL, it is nothing short of spectacular. The comparable players throughout history have all been fantastic. Not every guy who goes out there and produces this amount of points at this young of an age is a bust. In fact, most of those players actually become something at the NHL level. It's just, for Mishkov, he's been so highly touted for years, and he has a very legitimate chance at breaking that record, that the only thing that stands between him and number one in this particular conversation about U-20 points is Kirill Kaprizov, and that guy's a 100-point caliber player anyway. So, for Matvey Mishkov, the idea of trying to tear him down because the league he's playing in is not that great, that is a total load of crap. I'm sorry, but this does not apply. And for any Canadians fan going out there and saying, oh yeah, but Jordan Wheel is one of the top point producers in points, like, so what? That is not indicative to the prospect development profile of the guy who is outscoring many of these players at just 19 years old. That is a completely different idea, and I think it's sort of evolved into this mess where Canadians fans are trying to say, yeah, we made the right choice. We bested the Philadelphia Flyers by taking Reinbacher over Mishkov. You know what's going to determine whether or not that choice was a good one? The future. It's not then now. Let's think about this five years down the line. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Philadelphia Flyers and their prospect in Matvey Mishkov, as well as the Canadiens fan base trash talk that's been tossed out there his way. Thoughts in the comment section about his development and where he's gone so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.